well, we are officially habitants of this brand new empty apartment. There's something about being in an empty apartment that just feels so exciting and fresh and echoey. If you watched this video, which is where I showed you the three different apartments that we toured and considered in our apartment search, then you've already seen a bit of this apartment already, but I thought I would take the opportunity while this place is empty to take you on a more in-depth tour of our new home. So in this video, I'm gonna show you around a bit and tell you what my ideas are for styling this place because I already have it all planned out. And then of course, stay tuned for the videos to come because I'm gonna bring you along for this entire process. So you're gonna see how we take this empty apartment and make it into a beautiful, lush retreat. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Steffi and I'm the creator of the interior style blog, Moda Misfit, as well as the online course, Small Apartment Styling School, and you're watching Living Pretty, the place for apartment styling tips. All right, let me show you around the place. So here it is. This is gonna sound dramatic, but I'll say it anyway. Walking into this apartment is like getting injected with a dose of pure, unadulterated joy. <laughs> the vibes in here are just so good, and it's really because of these windows. These big ass, beautiful windows. <laughs> I've never lived in an apartment this high up and with this kind of view, so it's kind of a shock to the system in the best way possible. So let me show you the floor plan of the apartment, which as you can see has a bit of an odd triangular shape. <laughs> the leasing agent who gave us the tour of this space actually told us that most people don't usually want this particular layout because they don't know how to arrange the furniture in here. And I was like, oh, I got this. So here's a little 360 view of the main living area. Very open concept, very in my wheelhouse after spending five years in a studio apartment. So we're thinking this is where the couch will go with Kobe's entertainment center up against this wall. It's a classic case of you don't have to put your couch against a wall. Instead, you can treat it like an architectural element that divides the open space. In this case, our couch will divide the living room area from the kitchen area, just like it divided the living room area from the bedroom area in the studio. So that's our plan there. And then we have another jaw-dropping perk of this apartment, which is the balcony. I mean, look at that view. <laughs> So we're planning on getting this little outdoor table and chairs set from Ikea. I think it'll be perfect for this small balcony. And then we'll be able to come out here with our coffee and take in the view of this lovely chunk of Seattle of ours. Now onto the kitchen, which feels absolutely palatial after living with our tiny 42 square foot kitchen in the studio. So the fridge alone in this new apartment is revolutionary for us because it's like almost twice the size of the other fridge we had, which after Kobe moved in with me a few months ago was constantly bursting at the seams. I don't think that fridge was ever meant for two people. And then we have so much more cabinet and counter space here too. I'm not in love with the finishes, by the way, the countertops, the color of the cabinets, I like them just fine, but they're not necessarily what I would have chosen. I do like the taupey backsplash, although I probably would have gone with a white subway tile or something. This is all nitpicky stuff though, as someone who's a nerd for interior design. Overall, I love this kitchen. And what I love most of all about it is this beautiful blessing right here. 
Not having a dishwasher in the studio was pretty much the main reason why I wanted to move. <laughs> and now we have one! The love I feel for this magical appliance knows no bounds. I can't wait to put things inside her. <laughs> we also have a garbage disposal now, which is another miraculous addition to our lives that we didn't have in the studio. Ah, uh, just listen to her purr. <laughs> And yes, I'm aware that I'm referring to kitchen appliances as her. Listen, if you had gone through five years of not having a dishwasher or garbage disposal, you'd personify them too. <laughs> now on to the bedroom. Still can't get over the novelty of having a separate space for a bedroom, complete with a door that can be closed. <laughs> I'm telling you, living in a studio apartment for years changes your brain and makes perfectly normal things feel like the height of luxury. And as you can see, the big windows continue into the bedroom, which is amazing. So here's what we're planning on doing in here. The bed will go against this wall with a nightstand on each side. Not much more space for anything else, but we're going to try and see if we can fit a small desk in here for me to work at. We'll see. And the most exciting thing about our plans for the bedroom is what we're planning on doing with this wall. It's top secret for now because I want it to be a surprise, but let's just say it's going to be quite the statement. And then we have our little baby closets I talked about in this video as being the main drawback of this apartment. They're just little babies, so we have to get a little more creative with our clothing storage situation. If you watched this video of our IKEA shopping trip, you know we picked out this wardrobe to put right here to give us more closet space. We also have a dresser that we would have liked to put here, but after taking some measurements, we found that that would leave just a few inches between the dresser and the end of the bed. So we're gonna put the dresser over here. Not ideal, but that's small apartment life for you. Sometimes you have to put a dresser in the living room. And we're also planning on getting these drawers for under the bed for even more storage. So we're finding ways to compensate for the lack of closet space. And finally, we have the bathroom. I'm pretty excited about having a bathtub like the balcony, that's another thing I didn't even bother hoping for, and here we are. So we'll be bringing over this same boho style rug from our old bathroom. And we ordered this shower curtain from Society6 to give a bit of a moody, dark decor vibe in here, which you know I'm all about. So I think once we start adding some styling details in here, this bathroom will begin to feel like a cozy boho retreat. And that, my friends, was the last room in the apartment. Alright, there you have it. This is our brand new empty apartment. Like I said earlier, stick with me. I'm going to show you every step of how I decorate this place and make it into a lovely, cozy home. Remember, just because you rent your space doesn't mean you can't own your style, and I'm going to prove it to you in this space. Let me know in the comments below, do you have any questions for me about how I'm going to approach decorating this empty apartment? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, your apartment is destined to be pretty, and you are pretty powerful.